Hello you fucking faggots. Welcome to the top 3 worst anime of all time. There's just one rule for this list. I have to have actually seen the show. So unfortunately, Haruhi, Keon, Naruto, Sword Art Online and Love Live will not be on this list. Also, spoiler alert. Number 3. Madoka Magica. Madoka is a pretentious piece of shit that relies alone on its shock value. The plot is about a cat called Kyubei that recruits little girls, like a pedophile, to kill a bunch of witches. Or it would be about that, if the show wasn't just dedicated to our supposed main character, Madoka, crying for the entire fucking show. Let's talk about the characters, their shit. Sayako is the generic supportive best friend character, until she turns super emo over the fact that her soul gem she received when she became a magical girl, actually contained her soul. Holy shit! What a surprise! So yeah, not much to her. Mami is the generic mentor role and that's it. I would say something else about her, but she's killed off before we can even give a shit about her. Kyoko is Knuckles from Sonic 3 but without all the things that made Knuckles awesome. Not really much to say, other than the fact she has an eating disorder and probably uses Mikadoos to masturbate with. Hamura is the only somewhat interesting character, she's the dark and mysterious character trying to put an end to Kyubei's bullshit, because she's gay for Madoka. And since she's a lesbian, her opinion doesn't count. Madoka is the worst fucking character in the show. She's a fucking Mary Sue who does nothing but cry over everything, seriously, she cries more than fucking Yusogi from Sailor Moon, except in Sailor Moon, it's played off as a joke, whereas in Madoka, it's supposed to be serious, she doesn't even become a magical girl, she just becomes god during the final episode and makes the final battle against the Walpurg is a total cop out. She may as well be a fucking background character. Now for the best character, Kyubei. Kyubei is the ultimate troll, and is the only reason you should ever watch this show. Animation wise, Madoka Magica is nice to look at and sound is also good. But the show is just an edgy Sailor Moon. An edgy Sailor Moon wasn't a bad idea, it's just a shame all the show was dedicated to was just fucking Madoka crying. Number 2, Lucky Star. Lucky Star is a show about nothing, like Seinfeld, except it's unfunny shit. All Lucky Star consists of is just four girls talking about shit you don't care about, while making anime and manga references, because her dear dad's funny. And they have to make a fucking five minute conversation about every little fucking solitary thing. Fans say it gets better after a few episodes, it doesn't. The characters are fucking shit as well, Kanatu is a girl who is obsessed with anime and manga, and that's it. Kagami just gets pissed off having to put up with Kanata's shit. Tsukazu is just the naive sister of Kagami. And Miyuki is the generic nice girl, except she's popular with the fanbase because she has teats. I really don't get the appeal to this show, and I know that some fanboy is going to say that you don't like it because it doesn't have any action, and I'd like to counter that by saying no. I like Atsumonga Daio and Watamote, because, guess what, they're actually funny. The animation looks like dog shit and is clearly low budget. The sound makes me want to shove a pencil down my ear and make myself deaf. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. Number 1. Yumaru-chan, you know what I hate. Spoiled fucking brats. Why do I bring this up? Because that's all Yumaru-chan is about. The character of Yumaru is the worst anime character I've ever seen. Basically, Yumaru is a spoiled bitch who moved in with her brother and exploits said brother into doing whatever she wants him to do for her because she'll throw a tantrum otherwise. She is not funny, nor charming. Just fucking hateable. Not like her brother is any better since he doesn't even try to kick her out of his shitty apartment. The humor in Yumaru-chan revolves entirely around Yumaru's tantrums and references to video games and anime. This is shown in the absolutely atrocious opening. 
The art style is just the generic anime style used in most anime nowadays, so it's at least better than Lucky Star in that regard. The sound is absolutely atrocious, if Lucky Star's sound made me want to shove a pencil down my ear until I went deaf, Yumaru Chan's makes me want to cut off my ears with a rusty saw. Yumaru's voice is worse than fucking nails on a chalkboard. I seriously want to fucking kill that little shit after only one episode. So yeah, the fact this show has fans makes me want to kill myself. Well anyway, that's it for the list. I can't wait to see your buttered comments. Goodbye, you niggas.